Now that we have learned so much about Android, let's learn something about a very common social networking site, Facebook. We have our next talk titled One Link Facebook by Mr. Anand Pandey. Mr. Anand Pandey has just begun his journey in the world of cybersecurity and is working as an associate consultant in KR Information Security Solutions. He is responsible for carrying out VAPT and implementation of ISO 27001. Uh, as you all know, I am going to present on one link Facebook. Facebook, as you all know, is a social networking website uh, launched in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg and is used to interact with friends. Uh, people use it for uh, maybe searching for jobs, maybe uh, making their contacts, uh, building their social networks. And it's one of the leading social networking websites. Today, even a uh, second class student, a student who is uh, studying in a second class in a school, is having an account on Facebook. Facebook get 10 billion hits per day. 10 billion. It's the second uh, most visited website in the world. The first one is the Google and the third one is YouTube, both owned by uh, Google. And the second one is Facebook. Uh, few months back, the Facebook uh, rose up to the number one. But after that, uh, Due to some reasons, the Google was uh, almost uh, on the number uh, one, and Facebook dropped down to the uh, number two. So uh, there are uh, near about 35% of the Facebook users from age group 12 to 30 that uh, those who access Facebook rise right when they wake up. Uh, they post comments, they, they cannot resist the temptation to update their status or check who commented on their photograph. They are, uh, it's like an addiction for those. So, a little bit of a share on them, that a little bit of a story of 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 a little bit of a story. As from this graph, you can, uh, thank you, thank you. As you can observe from this graph, that Facebook is uh, rising constantly from uh, year 2007 till now. And it is going to hit the milestone of 1 billion. And it will be uh, expected in next year. Next year, uh, Facebook's active member will hit the milestone of 1 billion. So what all things are happening in Facebook? They are wall post, comments made, event uh, invites, link share, and many more. Then how many of these uh, activities take place in 20 minutes on Facebook? So, here are the facts and the figures. The figures and the numbers are <coughs> humongous. Even the comments made on Facebook in tw just 20 minutes are more than 1 crore. More than 1 crore comments are made in just 20 minutes. You can imagine how people are uh, getting involved in Facebook, how they are using Facebook, how Facebook is influencing their life. Now, in the recent news, Facebook uh, was in news one reason, because the uh, hacker group Anonymous threatened Facebook that uh, it will attack the Facebook on 5th of the November. But uh, what happened? Nobody knows. Then there was a uh, blogger who found out that Facebook uh, tracks the user activity even after the uh, user is not logged into the Facebook. It uh, records all the websites, the user visit, the time he spent on that website and send it to the Facebook server. So your privacy is not maintained by Facebook, but now it is fixed by Facebook. And the recent one, the massive hack attack on Facebook. Uh, there are a million of accounts got compromised, their profile picture changed and uploaded to porn websites. Facebook uh, uh, stated a uh, comment stating that no account from India got hacked. But according to a report, according to uh, some rumors or report you can say, there are some accounts from Hyderabad and also from Bangalore got hacked. So now let's understand what Facebook is, uh, what Facebook, uh, how Facebook prevents your security. What are the security measures applied by Facebook to prevent your uh, account and to maintain your privacy? The first is the username and the password. The username can be your email address that you used to register on Facebook, your Facebook username or your Facebook email address. The password can be anything, any random combination of number, any word, anything that you choose. And Today, the, a normal user, not among you, but a normal user think that by just by protecting their password, they are on the safer side. But no, they are not. And now we will see how. 
how we can uh, uh, just bypass the password. Then here is one more security feature, an added layer checkpoint. If you enable to receive the notification uh, of login by email or by SMS, this screen will appear just after you log in, just after you enter your username and password. Here it will ask you to enter a device name. Then, uh, like you are entering a device name uh, office or Ravi's computer or XYZ, anything. So at the same time you will receive a notification on your email address on by SMS on your cell phone that XYZ device is logged in uh, to your account at this and this time. So you will get to know if there is anyone uh, accessing your Facebook account without your permission. Any unauthorized access you will get to know. And then one more layer, geolocation security. As many of you might have uh, experienced it uh, over here who are not from Pune, if you are trying to log in to your Facebook account, you will be prompted to some additional uh, additional layer, uh, additional security questions to prove your identity. It will ask you about, uh, it will uh, just pop up a, a notification that uh, earlier the account was used to uh, access from uh, some other location, let's say maybe from Delhi or from Mumbai, and now you are accessing it from Pune. It won't let you to enter your account without entering that, uh, without proving your identity those extra questions. Then here is the login review. Let's suppose I am in Delhi and someone from Bangalore used to uh, try uh, to enter uh, some of the pass, try to guess my password. He entered two, three times, three times and four times but he wasn't able to enter into my account. So the next time when I will log in, it will show me a notification saying that someone from uh, Bangalore is trying to access your account. So please uh, go through these steps and secure your account further. Change your password, uh, review whether uh, this login was uh, yours or not. Then here comes what I am going to present, the one link, the direct link to your account that will bypass all security features, which I have just told. Do you use, use uh, do you want, uh, do you have to know the username? No, you don't. The password, you don't know, need to have that. The checkpoint, no. The geolocation restrictions, no. You will just bypass it easily without any uh, thing. So let's understand what this link is and how you receive this link. So this link is received. This uh, first of all, uh, first of all, I want to tell you that this link is generated by Facebook. Facebook generate this link itself to uh, for the convenience of the user who have opted to receive the notification by SMS on their cell phone. If I have. Uh, uh, from the setting I have changed that I, I want to receive the notification by SMS. Someone comments on my photo, I will receive a SMS stating that XYZ had commented on your photo or XYZ had commented your, on your link or anything. You will receive this uh, notification whenever someone comments on your photo, whenever someone comments after your comment on uh, any of your posts, whenever someone comments on your status, whenever someone likes your status, whenever someone tag you in, whenever someone uh, uh, message you or anything. Those activities will trigger a notification to your email address and to your cell phone. And when it comes to your cell phone by SMS, you will receive a link in it, a direct link to your account. So this is the type one of the link. This is how the link appears. M.Facebook state that this is the link related to Facebook users for mobile. Photo.php state that it is something related to Photograph. PID is the photo ID, it's a numeric number. Uh, it's the photo ID of the uh, photo that has been updated or uh, in which you, are, you have been tagged or someone commented on. Then ID. ID is the uh, Facebook user ID, the numeric Facebook user ID that Facebook pro, uh, provides to its user. It's unique to every user. It's the Facebook user ID of that person who has commented it, uh, on your photo or who had tagged you in. Or I can say that it is the ID of that person due to, who, uh, due to whose action you have received this notification. Then here comes the ML ID. ML ID is the Facebook user ID of the target or I can say your Facebook user ID that numeric Facebook user ID. And L, this is the most important thing. L, the secret key. It's the eight digit random uh, generated uh, string with numbers 
and uh, characters, alphabets, both smalls and in caps. Then it's the type two. Uh, about, about the type one, I want to tell you that Facebook used to uh, use this link uh, uh, before, uh, I think, six or uh, seven months earlier, but now it has changed. This link is still there, but it has been hidden between, be, uh, behind a short, shortened feature, uh, URL shorting feature, a short URL. But this is the real link, which will work. And we will, uh, in the third example and fourth example, we will see that what's the short, uh, how the short URL look like. Here's the type two. The share ID is the uh, numeric ID that will indicate the, uh, whatever you have shared. You have shared a link, you have shared a photograph, you have shared something. This is the ID of that, that thing. ML ID is again your Facebook user ID and L is the secret key. Then came, came into the picture, the Facebook sh URL shortening feature starting with fb.me, followed by 14 digit random uh, characters. It's number, alphabet, both in small and caps. So, <coughs> sorry. So, uh, this, this special 14 characters is specially dedicated to those direct link uh, shortening feature. If you will uh, try to shorten the, uh, some external URL, it will be um, fb.me slash some five digit random number. But if it is 14, it is for your direct link. <coughs> it's used specially to shorten the direct link, the magic link, and this one, the type three, it is the most important one. I'm, uh, it's like the database of, uh, it's like, yes, it's like the database. You have to just brute force that 14 digit and you will get the uh, direct link of millions of accounts. Millions of accounts who, are, uh, who has uh, got that direct link on their cell phone and is shortened by using this URL shortening feature of Facebook. Then the type four. The series of X denotes the FB ID of the user who commented on your photo or due to whose action you have received this notification. And the series of Y's is the secret key. But it's of no use because this link is sent to your cell phone, but still it's not working. Because if you will uh, get the real URL hidden behind this short URL, it won't work. Because the main uh, thing, that ML ID, that Facebook user ID of yours is not present in it. So it's of no use, but it's still uh, I have to tell you because it's a part of this. Now, what you can do with it? You can either brute force that third one, you can brute force the uh, secret key if you know the ML ID. What you need to know uh, from this is just the ML ID and the L, the secret key and the Facebook user ID of that person uh, whom you, have, uh, you are attacking. And one more thing I want to tell you that Facebook uh, start changing the uh, key after every two weeks. That you have that secret key will maintain for two weeks. Two weeks it will work, but after two weeks it will change to some other uh, another random number. Now work for a live demonstration. Here I am starting in Chrome incognito, so there is no session. This is the link I'm talking about. If you want, anyone can access this link. It will work fine. It's for my uh, test account. I will just, I have just pasted the link, press enter. Just a minute. I 
I think Facebook got to know that I'm going to demonstrate it. No problem. I have a video for this. Here it is. From the cookie, I'm showing that there is no cookie, so no session is there. Yeah, I've just pasted the link that uh, that story dot php with ML ID and the secret key. Press the enter. This is the secret key. And this is the ML ID. This is the ID of the person who has tagged me in. And this is the story ID. Press the enter. And I'm on my page. It's the Facebook for mobile. It shows the page on which the comment is made. Now I have those two cookies. I went to the Facebook main page for mobile. Now I entered in the URL. Now I am on uh, m.facebook.com. That's Facebook for mobile users. I am changing the URL to facebook.com. Let's see what's happened. Sending just facebook.com. And bingo, I am on my page. Here, I want to tell you one more thing that Facebook don't cannot track you. It won't ask you for a login notification. It, it doesn't ask you for a username and password. It doesn't ask you for that uh, checkpoint. Here I can access the messages. I can uh, tamper with the privacy settings. I can tamper with the set, uh, account settings. These are the privacy settings I can tamper with. Let's check in the uh, account settings. See, here in the account setting, you can uh, change anything which doesn't need a password. In the notification, as you all know that uh, whenever you log in, there is, in notification, there is an uh, active session. There is an, uh, let, me, let me show you. See, here, on the last time. It shows the active uh, session. It will tell you all the sessions that, that are currently active, uh, whether you are logged in or someone else logged in. So you can end the session from here, and if someone uh, else from like uh, an, an intruder is logged in, you will see that this is the uh, active session, and you can end this uh, end the se session so that that person get logged out automatically. But here in active session, you you can see that it's an unknown location. An error has occurred, could not find current session. So there is no current session. There is no way Facebook can track who has existed the account using this link. So no one can do anything with it. Either you access the account from uh, Jammu and Kashmir, or from USA, or from Australia. Now, oh, any questions? Yeah. Uh, you are like nowadays you are using smartphones. Yeah. So you have uh, Facebook configured within your smartphone? No, I haven't. It's from the notification that you will uh, register your cell phone number to receive the notification by SMS. So whenever someone comments uh, on your photograph, you will receive a notification by SMS. It's stating that XYZ has commented your, on your photo, this link, and the comment that person has made. Yeah. Suppose you have a PC at your home, hmm. you log in your Facebook account from there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, like, or else, when you're not logging, you give your brother, your siblings, the user and password, they log in. Hmm. Simultaneously, you are in some other city. Okay. And you also log in because in your cell phone, you have stored the, you get notifications, like you just refresh, hmm. you give it. Two different locations. Will the 